Good morning YouTube family and welcome to another YouTube video in the beautiful Accra Ghana. The weather is just absolutely unbeatable here. This is one of my favorite areas of the new house that we've moved into. We have like all these plants up here giving you a little bit of privacy. We have all of the beds with some new cushioning and it just looks absolutely wonderful. Then we also have the seating area outside here and opportunities also to put a TV here. The whole house is just so lovely in the sense that it has all these glass windows. There's so much natural light in, but at the same time, like the airflow you get through it is absolutely amazing. So even in the evenings, just sitting here relaxing by my mom, but it was wonderful waking up this morning to the sun rising in Ghana. So I thought let's just take you all along with you. With us today, we're just going to go do a little bit of shopping. I'll show you around some of the city. Probably go somewhere, get some lunch, come back. I want to do some laps in the pool because the pool is absolutely beautiful. Counted out yesterday, it's about 17 meters. Show you the home gym. The home gym is better than I think the gym that I use in Belgium. It has absolutely everything, all the latest equipment. Cannot wait to go and give that a try as well. Do a little arm workout, maybe run on the treadmill. But I just thought when you're living in a country like this, I have to take you all along with and just showcase the beauty that Africa has to offer. think Ghana and people think that in Africa we don't have these massive shopping malls this is one of the shopping malls it's not one of the biggest but it's one that has a lot to go in so this is the Accra mall really really big it also goes all the way down the other side and around straight off the main road you have the polar pony club where all the polo gets played just down there some more new developments happening and you can see it's around 10 30 now on a Saturday but it's still pretty big you can see an absolutely beautiful mall. So we are going to head inside now. A very, very popular place to be on the weekends. They have some checkers in here, some restaurants, some cafes and everything like that. So that's where we're going to go. And now also some banks. If you want to do it, get some glasses shots. Pretty much everything you need is at this place. It's usually very busy. So either come on a Saturday before, say, lunchtime or on a Sunday. But just feeling the vibes, feeling the spirit. And very, very, very happy to be back here. The shop that we come to is kind of like the ikea in garden in ghana i should say they have absolutely everything you need from textiles to home furniture to bathroom its name is orca and it pretty much is anything this is their new flagship store that they've opened inside Accra mall you can get anything from from your outside furniture inside furniture electronics blinds garden equipment bicycles absolutely anything you want you can find it here. i'll leave a link in the description so definitely come see them come support it and it is an absolutely beautiful beautiful warehouse store we have just finished up doing all of our shopping the back of the car is just completely completely full it was super nice the guy by the name of joseph he came took us to the car helped us unpack everything and just a really really great guy just talking about a crowd where he lives places that i must definitely go and do and see it's a pity that i couldn't show you too much inside I tried to initially film as you could see a little bit inside Orca but as soon as I went to other places there's they're quite tight on security they have quite a lot of people around and straight away the guy was like no filming so I've got to respect it I understand there's people there that don't want to be caught on camera or just don't want to be filmed without their permission which I completely understand so we just did it was in there and the amount of food that we bought from the amount we paid for I think it was an absolute steal if I compare it to what I would have paid in in Belgium or Norway or even South Africa I think it was maybe 50 percent less which is massive especially the checkers here it's very very popular because everyone just knows you get really great savings you also get bonuses 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just rather take our stuff, head back home, drop everything off, got some oven-based pizzas also because I absolutely love it, gonna throw them in the deep freeze and then we're gonna head out and get some lunch. We are back home now, unpacked everything, like literally all of the countertops were just completely filled with groceries, managed to pack them all into the fridge and the freezer. You'll probably hear some cats crying in the background, some dogs running around because they got banished. They've been separated now because they do not learn how to behave. So now we've got everything inside. We're gonna now head back out. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of where we're going. We're going to one of the South African owned restaurants which have some really amazing food. The atmosphere is there, the vibe is great. However, in the evening times, it's like ridiculously busy, extremely hard to get a table. So what we decided, what we're rather gonna do is go in for like a, a late lunch, because now it is probably, I'm not too sure, I would presume around two o'clock. So we're gonna go have a late lunch, come back home, go chill by the pool, do some gym, and then just take you all along with us. So that's where we're heading now. So let's hit the road. We have just finished up lunch now it was absolutely wonderful it's actually my mom's first time trying it out so she also had a really really nice time we even had some leftovers so i made sure that we are taking this home because i'm going to try it for dinner so just got that we're going to go back home now and i think after all that food i've been eating also had a chocolate milkshake didn't show up but probably the best chocolate milkshake i've had in ghana so far but it was a lot of food so i think i'm um, gonna go home now jump in the pool and then go for a swim and try and burn off <laughs> some of the calories that i burnt off uh, that i ate but you'll never expect where this place is it's like a very small little quiet road you just go up it and then you have this wonderful facility also got a butchery inside there so i highly highly recommend it it's called the nguni bar and girl i'll put it in the description also if you want to come check it out We have very quickly come to another supermarket because we realized that we forgot our wrapping paper at the till at the other place. So we're gonna come look around here, maybe grab some bananas. This is the palace, which is another like mega store. So we're gonna go in here, try and find some wrapping paper and then get a little bit of a few other bits and bobs. And then finally we can head home. That is my first time actively proper swimming since I was probably 18, 19, who had to swim every single week for water polo. So it's been a good like eight, nine years. I ended up swimming for 22 minutes at around a heart rate of 150, but that's including 10 warm down laps. 
I just did 70 laps, 60 hard, 10 slow. It's about a 15 to 17 meter pool. So quick mass, cannot figure out how much that is. But you can see it's an absolutely beautiful pool. Got the house in the background. I will do a full house tour. I know a couple of people have already asked it, but I'll leave that tour much further down when I'm properly settled in here and can, can give an accurate representation of everything that I like about it. Everything that I don't like about it, but loving every single moment of it. So pretty much now I'm gonna go back just get something energetic, maybe eat like an orange or a mandarin or banana, and then chill outside, get the last little bit of sun, because now it is half past four. You can see the sun slowly sitting down, so I'm gonna go sit up there, get a nice rest on the veranda. And then, you know, I'll probably go to gym later tonight, because weekends always means double sessions, so I try and do one form of cardio, one form of weight training. It's just because if I sit down for a too long period of time, I go absolutely crazy, but I'm gonna still enjoy the time with my mom, as I said, my dad arrives in one or two days. So it's gonna be nice to have the bigger family together. So I'm gonna conclude the video here. I really hope everyone's loving these daily vlogs. As I said, many, many more to come. Thank you all so much for the support. Join the family, let me know what you like, what you wanna see more of, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Appreciate each and every single one of you and have a lovely time.